Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to come on here and give you guys a review on the blow dryer that I'm currently using right now. Also, to let you know that Folica is doing a um, recycling promotion. I saw it in an email and I thought I would share it with you guys. It's going on for another few days, so if you guys are interested, of ta interested in taking advantage of it, definitely do that. It's a great promotion that they're doing. Basically, if you recycle your old blow dryer or flat iron, they will give you a um, code to use on their website to save $40 off of a new professional hair dryer or flat iron. So that's great because you're going to get a discount on a really great professional um, quality product as well as reducing your carbon footprint. So I'll post the link to more information on that in the description box below. All you have to do is fill out a form, the recycling form that they have, and they'll email you the code and you guys can um, get to shopping. And then you, all you have to do is mail back your old appliance and they will recycle it for you. So it's a great promotion to take advantage of if you are in the market for a new blow dryer or a new flat iron. The blow dryer that I have is the Solia Professional Thermal Ionic Dryer and it's really pretty dark blue color and you can see there's like glitter in there too. Um, the idea of having an ionic hair dryer or an ionic hair tool is that it produces millions of negative ions that's supposed to help um, produce more shine. It's supposed to make your hair smoother and healthier and it's also supposed to cut back on um, dry time as well. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you if my hair is necessarily healthier. Um, it, my hair seems shinier but then again I do put product in my hair before I do any type of heat styling so that could be um, a factor as well. So I can't honestly tell you that my hair is necessarily healthier from having used this but I can tell you that it really has cut back on heat time and so I'm attributing that or dry time I'm attributing that to the fact that there are these negative ions that's supposed to help with that but also the fact that this has a whole lot of power to it like there's a lot of air that comes out of this thing at once and it really dries my hair super fast like I have pretty thick hair um, and my hair has gotten pretty long and Usually it takes me about like 10 minutes to dry my hair completely, um, but with this, seriously, probably 5 minutes or less, my hair is like completely dry. I mean, I'm not styling it as I'm drying it, so I don't want you to think like my hair is like like completely done in 5 minutes. Like it's, it's completely dry in 5 minutes, so that allows me to um, flat iron or curl it after without having like to add so much time to my whole hair styling routine. So I do really like that and I think that is definitely the biggest perk for me with having this hair dryer is that it dries my hair really really fast and I really like that a lot. So it does have these different like settings so you have the option of having low heat or I'm sorry you have the option of having low airflow or high airflow so you could do either or and there's also three different heat settings so you have the blue which is cold it's just completely cold air or you can do like like a low heat and then you could do a high heat I always keep mine on the highest heat setting as well as the highest airflow setting just because I feel like that that's what my hair likes the heat um, just helps smooth out my hair a little bit more kind of like when I use a flat iron or um, a curling iron so I liked having that heat in my hair but also having it on that high air setting also helps with dry time it also has this cold shot button so you can press that and it, it produces cold air. Um, there's also this little light, it's an indicator light so that when you turn it on it lets you know that it is producing those negative ions so as the air is coming in it's, it's producing negative ions that's supposed to be good for your hair. Um, it also has a super duper long nine foot cord so um, that comes in handy if you're a professional hairstylist if you do hair for a living um, but even if you don't just having that long cord actually helps because you don't have to be like right next to the electrical outlet in order to use this. You can be a few feet away and still be able to use your blow dryer, so that's really nice. Um, it also comes with these two little um, concentrators. There's one big one, which is this, and then you get um, a, a slightly smaller one. And these just attach to the nozzle, and this is good if you like to blow dry your hair straight. It just concentrates the air um, and allows you to do that a lot. Another feature that your blow dryer might have that you might not be taking advantage of and you totally should is this. Um, this has a removable air filter, which I think is great. I love it when blow dryers have this. Um, and I haven't cleaned this out in a week, so I could show you guys. But can you guys see the dirt and the lint that's accumulated in there? There's even a giant lint ball right there that's formed as well as a bunch of dirt. Um, 
having one of these is very very handy if you take advantage of it um, you should definitely clean this out every once in a while if not after every use then at least once a week or every other week um, depending on how much you use it but that's really important because if that lint accumulates and it gets stuck inside the motor it could cause a fire and that's not good obviously for your health as well as the life of your blow dryer so in order to prolong the life of your hair tool, definitely clean that out as often as you can, as well as, you know, it's better for you because then you, you run less of a risk of this thing catching on fire, which is a very bad thing. Um, it's very similar to, like, a clothes dryer. It has a little lint trap. You're supposed to clean that out after every use, again, for the same reasons to keep your dryer working as well as it should to keep the airflow, you know, going through the product as well as you know preventing a fire from forming because that lint can catch on fire super easily so that's not good so definitely clean that out if you haven't in a while um I'm going to turn this on for you guys so you guys can see the amount of power that it has also I th hopefully you guys will notice um it might just be really loud for you guys on camera but I noticed that this is actually not as loud as my old blow dryer I think it's because um it's a little bit lower of a pitch it's not like high pitched and like 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 annoying and loud um I'm not saying that it's like quiet and it's silent like you can't even hear that it's on because that would be a lie it's a blow dryer I mean come on it's it's gonna be loud um but I definitely find that it's not as loud and it's also not as annoying so I'll put it on the um low airflow setting and then I'll put it on the high so you guys can hear the difference as well as hopefully see the difference as I like use this on myself so here's the low Still a lot of power, so here's the high. You guys can see that light turned on when I turned it on. That means that negative ions are being produced. So um, this is 1,870 watts, um, so that's pretty cool. And like I said, just helps to dry my hair a lot faster, and that's the main reason why I like this so much. So if you guys are interested in checking this out, I'll post the link down below. Also, um, take a look at that recycling um, promotion that they're doing too. Definitely will come in handy if you need a new blow dryer or flat iron. Um, so if you guys have any other questions, let me know. I'll try my best to answer them. I hope this was helpful, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.